is a veteran. A veteran can be described as someone who serves their country, usually in the military. At least that's what a dictionary will tell you. There are many ways to describe a veteran, but does that term only apply to humans? My experience with a military working dog when I served in the Marine Corps, from the day I met him, the combat deployment we partook together, our homecoming, and my subsequent adoption of him, prove that canines can be veterans too. I met military working dog Cash in January of 2011. I was an infantry rifleman who was lucky enough to be selected for the billet of improvised explosive device detection dog handler. The dog I would partner with was skilled in utilizing verbal and hand signal commands to locate hidden threats. I soon met Sergeant Cash 2, serial number Papa 404. The Roman numeral 2 stands for the fact that he was the second dog with the name of Cash in that program. The P stands for 2010, the year he entered service, and the 404 means that he was the 404th dog to enter service that year. We trained extensively for three months in places like South Carolina and California. I learned how to maintain, utilize, and care for a military working dog. We deployed with 3rd Platoon, Echo Company, 2nd Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, 2nd Marine Division, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force Forward. We left with 13 dogs in the battalion, two of which were in Echo Company. Unfortunately, we only came back with 11. Cash experienced everything I did, to include the 150 degree weather, the sandstorms, a stubborn enemy, and the loss of improvised explosive device detector dog Staff Sergeant Emmy, who was his best friend. While on patrol during our combat deployment, Cass searched using his nose for hidden bombs without regard for his own safety. He quite possibly saved my life when he found one. He did this out of love and for a simple toy. There was no glory in his job. He just went and did it. The end of the deployment came and we arrived home in November 2011. And I immediately had to give him back to the Marine Corps, not knowing if I would ever see him again. We didn't come back to any parades or loud bands like that, which had accompanied our World War I and World War II veterans. Our welcoming home was relatively quiet, but it was also bittersweet. But on the flip side, I came home to my beautiful, very pregnant wife, and that was good enough for me. Later, I had the honor and privilege to adopt my dog. In June 2012, Cash came home to a good home, warm bed, and loving family. To me, a veteran is someone that not only served, but risked their life to, for the buddy to the left and to the right of them, slept night after night in uncomfortable positions, if they slept at all, braved harsh weather, faced a ruthless enemy to protect their family and nation. They selflessly protect our freedoms from those who attacked us because we had different beliefs. Cash fits in every category I listed. I thank Cash every single day for bringing me home to my wife so that I could hold my son when he was born just a couple of weeks later. He may not have realized what he has done, but he deserves everything and more. Military working dogs are heroes too. They are veterans.